Welcome to Cornwall, the most southwesterly county in the UK. Cornwall has over 300 beaches and the longest coastline in Great Britain, attracting over 5 million visitors each year. If you're new around here, my name is Brogan and this is my fiance Benji and our little cocker spaniel Bonnie. We've been together for five years and we very recently got engaged, so we've been celebrating and spending lots of quality time together. We spent three days eating all the good food and going on nice long dog walks, exploring the coast and the quaint harbour villages. We stayed in a dog friendly lodge with a hot tub just outside of Padstow which massively exceeded our expectations. We really enjoyed it. If you enjoy this video be sure to subscribe and watch our other staycation and travel vlogs. They're in a playlist you can click above but for now join us for lots of chit chats and exploring around Cornwall. and welcome to another new travel vlog a little staycation as you would have seen in the intro we are spending a few days down in Cornwall today is Wednesday the 16th of March and this was a very spontaneous last minute trip because my fiance Benji is an electrician and he works all over the UK doing all sorts of jobs but he recently found out he has a heart tumor and he's taking a little bit of time away from work while we figure that out but he was asked if he could just do a, a it was a big favor but a small job and uh, it's about three hours away um down in Bude in Cornwall and so basically he was just going to come down here do the quick job and then come all the way back home and I said to him why don't we just make a thing of it and I'll come with you once you've done the job then we can spend a few days down in Cornwall why not it made sense as he was coming all the way down here just to enjoy a bit of Cornwall so Bonnie is with us our little dog she is in the boot I've just given her a little walk and um, we're basically at the site where Benji is um doing the job quickly so I'm waiting for him to do that it shouldn't take too long i basically really struggled to find anywhere that was available last minute that was dog friendly there are loads of amazing places i looked at holiday home parks i looked at airbnb hotels um i looked at like similar to uh, center parks there were some really lovely like luxury lodges that i loved but just nowhere <laughs> that was available near bude so we're actually going to be going a little bit further down to padstone which is another area I really love uh, not far from New Quay we've previously stayed at Watergate Bay and did a whole vlog for that a couple of years ago um, and that was actually before we got Bonnie they are dog friendly actually but they're very expensive so I wanted something like cheap and easy and just yeah suitable for a quick short last minute stay so booked something on booking.com in the end we have absolutely no plans no restaurants booked in we didn't even pack any food all we've got is the essentials so that's what we're up to so enjoy a new little travel vlog all right our first stop here in Bude is Summerlee's car park I don't know but there's lots of little restaurants on the top of the hill there. It's really, really quiet. And Benji just changed out of his work uniform. <laughs> it's a little r and shop and the beach. You changed out of your uniform? Red. Up the budget um, Superman. <laughs> we are changing public toilets rather than phone booths. <laughs> Ready for a little holiday now? Now the job's done. Three and a half hours drive for half an hour's work. <laughs> <laughs> Look how beautiful look at this beach it's huge look at the little beach huts we stayed at a ho like a, a hotel around here i think it might be that one up there with my school i've been what 13 14. Huh. i broke my nose for the first time here here look she's really going for it <laughs> come on good girl bonnie you having fun come on in <laughs> I did not pack 
the best shoes and these are my only trainers <laughs> oh no but the sun is just trying to peek through she's living her best life the water's crazy it's so violent do you ever like just sit and watch the water and think it's so, so scary yeah mother nature is a powerful beast yeah especially the sea although the, the the waves are coming in the water's getting sucked out it's a really bad rip here yeah i saw the signs i really love it in cornwall these like big open beaches yeah perfect if you have a dog and lots of people look at the people walking along the wall over there bonnie's been playing with loads of other dogs but we haven't had any proper breakfast we do have some snacks but are you hungry should we go and get a bit of brunch i could eat okay that's what benji meant the current on moving water away from the shore they can sweep even the strongest of swimmers out to sea right there's a little restaurant up here oops nearly <laughs> missed the step um it's called lab life's a beach so let's just see if they're open oh it does it says they're open great this is the menu they also have some specials which is more like a full english yeah so this breakfast menu is 10 to 12 and it is currently 11 o'clock so what shall we have i don't know but it's a really pretty little spot you can see out when we're walking it's probably nice to sit outside actually what are you gonna have oh yeah they're gonna have a small veggie breakfast oh good choice so i went for the new zealand breakfast which is salsa um toast egg bacon avo sausage. and sausage yeah. looks so good doesn't it are you jealous no, I'm all right, I'm all right. you've got a nice veggie full english yeah that looks yeah. good right well that was such a lovely little brunch spot wasn't it dog friendly lovely star so we finished down here yeah don't think we're going to do too much more of bude are we no we're going to move along we're going to go to tintagel 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 i think okay. it's tintagel and what are we um, doing down there Going to see the castle. Okay. Going to see the King Arthur's Cove, I think it's called. Okay. Merlin's Cave. A lot of Cornwall I've done when I was a kid. I haven't done since, so I just remember bits and bobs. Hmm. I haven't done Cornwall all that much. We did, like I said, Watergate Bay. I, can't, I think that was the last time we were down here, was it? Oh, we, we did up, Plymouth, didn't we, Devon? Oh Imagine living gosh. in one of these houses. That's so pretty. Look at the sea. Oh, and loads of people walking over there. Oh wow, oh, look at that right at the end. Film, it? Yeah, we've just stopped on the drive down to see the view. Do you know what this reminds me of when I stopped in California, Big Sur, yeah, on the side? It's, it's just like the UK way. version, yeah. It's stunning. So we weren't supposed to come on this road. We're between Widemouth Bay and, what is it, Crackington something? Which is where I tried looking for an Airbnb for Crackington us. Haven. Yeah. Um, but I didn't. I, I saw there was a, a road called the Coast Road, and it is a bit gravel tracky. Yeah. But um, single lane road. But oh, it's a hundred percent worth it. It's beautiful, isn't it? But trust your gut sometimes, don't you? Mm, I could honestly just sit here with like a picnic. Yeah. That's why I love the idea of getting a motorhome at some point. And just I know. Bopping down here and. Uh, opening up, parking sideways along there, open doors. Have a cup of tea. I'd love to have a cup of tea and sit here and watch that view. Yeah. Let Bonnie sit and watch the world go by with us. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. We're going to get a motorhome. <laughs> so at some point. <laughs> Somebody recommended Boss Castle to us on the way down. So look how cute this is. Look at the little um, mill over there. Look at these streets. Oh, it's so gorgeous. cute. Benji's gone to the bathroom and I um, I actually put my Crocs on um, for the drive um, back because my feet were soaked and sandy. To be honest, if I'd really thought about it, I should have worn the Crocs on the beach, but I didn't. So Benji just let me grab a pair of his socks because mine are in the bottom of a bag somewhere. My hair's a little bit frizzy. Oh, fantastic. I forgot to bring my hair straighteners with me. We're just gonna live the wild frizzy life for now. This is the Museum of Witchcraft and Magic, and it's the oldest and largest collection of its kind in the world, in this tiny little village. <laughs> what? Wow, I'd love to go in, but it's, it's closed. Let's have a look. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> oh, of course it is. Wow. There's a lucky wishing well. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Don't have change anymore.
stopped at the little bakery on the way back um, just before they close and before our parking runs out and we got pasties you got steak and I got a cheese and onion yeah I've popped Bonnie in her harness Ben's just, just doing the car parking and we've just eaten our Cornish pasties in the car and I don't know where we are actually uh, begins with a T something with a castle somewhere I don't know you're having the best day ever aren't you Bonnie's big day out where are we? Um, oh, this is the way to the castle. Yep, down this path. Oh gosh, that looks like a steep hill. Okay, they do have a Land Rover service. Do you know how much it costs to get in the castle? I don't know. Whoa, look at the bridge. Yeah. Are we going to cross that? Where is that? like and this is the remains got some big big like feasts and dinners in there this is the entertaining guests and lords and barons wow imagine with this view of the sea that's crazy <laughs> He's got the book to learn about all the history, but that was Come beautiful. On. I'm not sure what was more impressive, the castle grounds or the view and the sea up above. Yeah, both. I to, so it's, it's in National Trust. Oh, no, in the heritage. Yeah. So um, if you've got a card, then you obviously bring it down. And you get it included. Uh, I think it is. You bought the book oh, as well, yeah, so yeah. I don't know how much it was. I think it all costs different amounts per person, different times of year. Time of year so. Have a look before. I think it's also cheaper if you pre-book as well. So, oh, um, well, there we go. But yeah, I, I loved it. I love castles. You do love castles. We have talked about this in our staycation vlogs before, yes. um, especially the Wales ones. There isn't much of a castle there. It's just like the foundations. But yeah, still, I, just, I just think it's so fascinating that you know it was up there. Eight hundred years ago, that was built. Wow. Oh, that was great. Yeah. So now we're ready to go to our accommodation. I keep forgetting the name of the. Um, holiday park. We'll set it when we get there. Yeah, I'll show you when we get there. But um, we can check in. We need a little shop as well, don't we? We do need to do a little shop because we don't have anything. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, How do you say it? Retallic. Retallic? Yeah. Resort and Spa. I really don't have the greatest expectations because I, I really struggled to find us something at so last minute. So we're all going to learn together because normally I do loads of research, read all the reviews, look at all the pictures, none of that, absolutely none of it. This so. is going to be probably like the best place ever. <laughs> really like, what? like a hidden gem. Uh, it's a company called Aria, Aria? Yeah, Aria. Aria. Okay. Okay. There's a bench. There's a little shop. Mm. All right, okay. That's, um, Quite nice on first impressions. Oh, the reception's really nice. Well, that was a lovely check in process. So, we paid £50 a night, £100 for two nights, and that was a dog friendly two bed, I think, or two person. Either way, they've managed to do a four bed with a hot tub for only £23 extra, just because I think we're out of season, we've turned up at five o'clock on the day, there's gonna be no one else now, so it's like a no-brainer, no one else is gonna be in it anyway, so yeah, they've managed to upgrade us, which is great, um, for so cheap, like I'm just, honestly, I don't know, this price feels way too good to be true, but um, I'm excited, because everywhere's dog friendly here they've got a little shop they've got a restaurant upstairs which um also is dog friendly there's a gym and sauna as well in case you don't have a dog or if ben or i wanted to come in on our own 
but the grounds are really nice there's lots of like lovely flowers and there's a parking out the front here and everything looks quite modern and fairly new so we'll see all right down we go after you madame thank you okay it's like a little house room one with two single beds very nice room two wow with one nice big king bed by the looks of that oh 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 this is nice isn't it oh big tv fire oh my god there's an upstairs bench what nice sofa area a fully set up kitchen oh my god this is amazing Right. We could stay room. here with friends. Yeah. This is great, isn't it? They have little inflatable water park. They have, look. Oh, oh my yeah. god, they do in the forest over there. I bet in the summit this is popping. Yeah, this has got to be really busy, surely. I can't believe how big this is. Oh my god, I haven't even been in the rooms yet. This is so nice. <laughs> how lovely is this? We've got two lounges. I honestly can't get over this. Is that the light? Is that another bathroom? Oh my gosh, another bathroom. Another double bathroom. Four beds, this is. No, it's six bed. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I expect this is probably. Six person, but four beds. Oh no, you're right, there's more. Oh my gosh. Four bedrooms. Sleeps eight. Sleeps eight, yeah. Do you want to say how much we pay? I did, I already told them, 120, well, it was 100 pound on booking.com and we paid 23 pound to upgrade us because we were obviously to here. One, to one with a hot tub. Yeah, and then we paid 40 pound to have Bonnie. So it yeah. cost us 163 pound for two nights. You've got baby gates and everything. It's super family friendly, it's dog friendly, pet friendly. Unbelievable, lovely little balcony. I have just found downstairs the things you need to do any ironing. Don't think it has, oh, I was just about to say a washing machine. It does, of course it does. Oh my gosh, amazing. Okay, it's now half past five and they're filling up the hot tub um, because obviously they didn't expect anyone to be here tonight. But this is absolutely fantastic. What a great space. And just for reference, we're just outside of Padstow. So not far from a really beautiful part of Cornwall. I need to do some work and they have a guest Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna to connect to that. I'm still feel really red in my face. I definitely think I've caught the sun a bit I today. Feel, I think it's the wind. Do you? I don't know if it's a thing, but. Oh, either way. We've got um, just a bit of pizza like tonight. The, the cheap deep pan ones, we were both craving it, weren't we? Yeah, just easy, chuck it in the oven. Like I said, we didn't properly meal plan or shop. So we are gonna watch Turning Red, which is um, the new Disney Pixar film. Bonnie is um, asleep on the sofa mm -hmm. here. It is eight o'clock and we're still watching Turning Red. We're actually almost finished. Um, it's a cute film so far, I'm enjoying it. We're on our second drinks, and we're gonna go and see if the hot tub is ready now because they filled it up for us earlier, so we're gonna find out. Um, oh, Benj, I have towels for us. Oh, he's discovered a robe. Looks quite little on you, Benj. <laughs> the hot tub is freezing, it's just cold water. Is it on though, warming up? Yeah. It is on. Yeah, because it, it would be a lot, it would have been a lot colder than that if it wasn't on. Not tonight, sadly. Oh, I'm getting in bed then. <laughs> Eric, oh, peace out. <laughs> Can we have ice cream? You bought us ice cream. Oh, didn't I did, you? didn't I? Come then. Yeah. I'm carrying three towels. I don't I might as well leave them down here. Good morning. I got up at like half past six, seven a.m. with Bonnie and the sun was so lovely, but it's still so gorgeous. So it's now about eight o'clock-ish, I think. Benji is still in bed, Bonnie's up. She's uh, she's there, I don't know if you can see her. She's just having her breakfast. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. And I've put on a little speaker with some jazz. I've got my book and a towel. And this hot tub is still not hot, which is 
really, really annoying. I don't know why, it's saying it's 26 degrees, so this feels like a very, it's not even lukewarm at the moment, it's still cold. But you know what, I'm gonna get in it anyway, guys, and hope that it warms up. It is so peaceful, I just read a bit of my book. I can see some like blow up water inflatables on the lake. Just only hear the birds. So, so peaceful. Such a lovely place. I really love it. They did tell us that there was um, tea and sugar, like the basics, but I can't find it anywhere. And I'm so desperate for a cup of tea. I just opened the welcome pack and behind this I found the Holy Grail tea sugar. Oh my gosh, that means I can have a cup of tea this morning. I finished my croissants. I've got my tea. I'm watching my friend Joel's new video. The sun is genuinely so nice. I need to go and put some SPF on, I think. Hey, darling. Come to cuddle. I've got to go and put some SPF on in my face. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at you closing your eyes already. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it nice? Good girl. <laughs> Benj, our dog is sunbathing. Oh, darling, yes. Good girl. Yes, thank you. Alrighty, we have arrived in Padstow. The weather is just incredible. It's crazy, we packed all cold stuff. I know. Got hoodies and warm trousers. I really was expecting it to be raining and horrible, but I will take it. Oh, we went to that little cherry something, cherry tree cafe or something around here. Yes. It was a little, we had cake, didn't we? I love Padstow. Look at this. Wow. I don't think they're getting their boat out for a while. <laughs> no. Can't park there, sir. <laughs> so if you were to get in trouble in the seas, well, probably what, 1,500 years ago, that bad boy would be sailing out to come and get you. Wow. Good oh, luck. no lie. <laughs> now they're speedboats. <laughs> yeah. well, it's amazing how brave the sailors were back in the day that they would go out on that to try and save people in storms. That's a beautiful boat. Crazy, isn't it? Look at her. Can you see the birdies, Bonnie? So Padstow is where we came, and if you watched our old Cornwall vlog, it's before Bonnie. It was before Bonnie. I was going to say, I wonder how she was with the seagulls last time, but we didn't have her then, did no, we? No, it was before Bonnie, and it was where you saw that massive... Oh, ter um, pterodactyl. <laughs> pterodactyl seagull. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute down here, the shops are so sweet. Oh, is that a dog shop? Oh my gosh, yeah. Come on then. Come on, Slickers, dog house. Yeah. Look how amazing this little dog shop is. There's literally everything you could want. There's a whole section here just for harnesses and leads and collars. Amazing. So Rickstein does have a restaurant, I think, back there, but there's a takeaway bit down the end here, past the uh, car park. They open at 12 o'clock in five minutes, so I'm just having a little look around the shop. Thought I'd take you with me. Great place to get little gifts. I like the tote bag, but I think Benji may actually take away my engagement ring if I come back with another tote bag. <laughs> So they have a dog bowl outside the restaurant bit, but they don't let dogs in. So we're having to get some from the takeaway here and we'll go and eat it somewhere else. I'm sure there'll be somewhere we can enjoy. So we're sat down where we were walking earlier. We've got our fish and chips. Took about 20 minutes, didn't it? Yeah. And I think it's because the first of the day when it's today. First orders, it yeah. And yeah, here's our little Rick's time fish and chips. We've got the cod bites that we like. It's just easier to eat than like a big bit of fish, isn't it? Yeah. Less batter and stuff, but... Oh, happy day. What's happening, babe? Post-lunch sports mode. He's going into sport mode, guys. If you've seen our vlogs before, you'll know that Benji is the proud owner. <laughs> Just don't even have to worry about it. I leave the house. Some people have to decide, oh, is it too hot, too cold today? I, no. can, I can pack my bike. You can do both. Get a boy who can do both. Sport mode and four before. <laughs> You'd have to turn down the brightness for this bit, otherwise it break people's TVs with <laughs> pasty white, pasty white fish fingers. Fish fingers. We need to put some SPF on those. Would you like me to take your legs for you? Yeah, here's my legs. <laughs> Lieutenant you're... Dan, where's my legs? <laughs> it's times like now where I wonder why like diesel don't do like a cut off, like a two-in-one jeans and jorts. Like, honestly, I think they'd make billions. 
what designer yeah, trousers like you've got. Trousers with the just zip off and bosh. I really think the market's quite small for people I that are looking for those. I literally don't understand. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> no, babe, I'm here for it. Does everyone know how convertible trousers? What I'm disappointed in is that your sunglasses aren't on your chain today. No, they are on my, my chains on my other sunglasses. Oh. To apologize, I can't actually find them. Oh. Which, I, which is ironic because my chain is so that I can find my sunglasses. <laughs> Business time now. Three back to back bakeries. The world's best Cornish oh, They know they're going to get raided. <laughs> Benji is a sucker for a bakery. Absolutely loves it. It's food in general, really. No, but the bakeries you go nuts for. Oh, look at that Cornish pudding. That looks nice. That's old Vanessa. Love these. These are some of my favourites. We buy these in Tesco. Oh, that's the Ooh. So we've been looking in all the shops. I tried on a few different dresses in a couple of women's clothing shops. And then we went to Salt Rock and I got a little jump. I'll show you later. I went to a surf shop and I went, <gasps> I've broken thought I'd hurt myself. But I actually just found Tech Dex. I don't know if anyone remembers Tech Dex, but this was like my whole entire childhood. And we've got one for my brother as well. So yeah. haven't found a Cornwall pin, which is disappointing. Why does no one sell pin badges? Honestly, I would just have a shop or a website dedicated to pins. And then if you go on holiday somewhere and they don't sell a pin badge, you can come onto my website and find one. Maybe that's your, maybe that's your plan, but your business plan. I also want to make my own planner because I hate all the planners that ever exist. <laughs> I need to start in a few new businesses. Final stop here in Padstow is at Cherry Trees, which is a lovely, lovely cafe. We came here before um, and we sat inside and ate cakes. We've got two cakes takeaway, a cookie and a coffee for me. So we've got a mixture of things, but yeah, they do loads of lattes and all sorts. So you can grab a coffee or a tea and then walk around the harbour. Right, we're back in our lodge. And the good news is, is that the hot tub has gone from 20 six degrees to 32.5 so it's definitely heating up they definitely take a long time to heat but at least it's warm enough to chill in now he's getting his blooming tech deck thing out thought i would show you what i got in salt rock i wouldn't normally shop there to be honest but all the shops in cornwall are all like surfy brands and i found this really nice jumper it's more like a thin sweatshirt type as you can see, white with like little colorful specks in it. And it says, salt rock, always first to the surf, which is not- That's just you, isn't it? You're always- That's just me to a T, isn't it? If I think of you thought, it's just, oh, she's always, always first, first to the surf. Always. Literally first one in there, surfing, <laughs> all the time. Like, oh. All right, we picked up cakes in the bakery to have a cup of tea. Benji doesn't drink tea or coffee. No. Um, but I will always drink a tea. And then we went to the Cherry Tree Bakery and got actual cakes. So I've got banoffee pie. Actually, I think it's a roulade banoffee, isn't it? Not pie. And Benji has a lemon meringue pie. Whenever I need some like good background music, I type in Central Music and they are literally one of my favorite YouTube channels ever. And they have this, um, good life radio that's on all the time it's just live streaming all the time the sun's gone behind a cloud but the hot tub is actually hot now so that's good and benji's going to join me and he normally doesn't last more than like 15 20 minutes so actually i think this temperature is probably better for him it's not too hot he's getting us a drink and then i will probably just stay in and read my book because it's so lovely bonnie's just had some food it's a happy girl all is good it is half past six. We are going to dinner in the restaurant tonight. Benji had a little look at it when we checked in and said it was really lovely up there. So mm. we just thought we'd save us doing any cooking this trip. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, our favorite TV shows, The Apprentice and Dragon's Den, that we are obsessed with right now, are on tonight. So we want to be back. It's between eight and 10 o'clock back to back. So we want to go for dinner first. They let dogs in, so obviously I've got Bonnie. And so I'm showing you the lead, like obviously Bonnie's at the end of it. <laughs> and then what are we doing? Gonna watch, the, yeah, gonna go for dinner, watch the TV and then um, go to bed. Oh, the moon bend is so big. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was last night as well. It's so big. We're putting the game it's into my bag. Yeah, full moon. Full moon. Pretty. Um, and then we can maybe, after Dragon's Den, hot, uh, The Apprentice, Maybe a little dip in the hot tub. Yeah. Right, Coolio, let's... Coolio? Oh, gosh, Coolio. that was cringe. Wow, was <laughs> Sorry, that was so cringe. Not that I'm not cringe enough already. Coolio! 
God. Someone take the vlog camera away from me. That's what I meant about the moon. I don't know if you can see on camera, but look, it's huge. And can you see down there? That's where the um, inflatables on the lake are. You look nice, Bench. Yeah, so do you. Uh, well, thanks. There's a bit of a mismatch. Wearing a really dress. Fine and even outfit. No, that's fine. Shirt's better than nothing. Bonnie, can we can we go, please? Thank you. This is the restaurant. It's called the Lookout. And right next door, they have a flow rider, which if you watch the Dubai vlogs, is basically one of those surf things. These are so cool. Slightly different actually to the one we did. Oh no, maybe it's the same, it's the same. Yeah, so I imagine in the summer, this is really nice out here. Sitting out here, if you've got kids, they can try this. And there's a pool there and it's huge by the looks of it. So that's very nice. And then, yeah, here's the restaurant and bar. Oh. This is nice. Here's the food menu. They've got some lunch options, appetizers, like the sound of the arancini, some nice starters. They have bruschetta and they also have uh, chili and honey chicken skewers, which sound good. And then for mains, everything that you would sort of expect. They've got pasta, they've got uh, fish and chips, burger, salad. What else is on this side? Is this the puddings? Puddings. Yeah. Eat a mess, brownie, cheesecake, and a sundae. So, actually, quite a nice menu, to be honest. I was quite surprised. Look at her. She's so well behaved. She's literally, look, she's just watching. She's just watching them two working. And now we have got... Oh, it's a bit of a mess, actually. Because the games. When I packed from Dubai, I lost the hairbands that we used to wrap around. Oh, the, the integral hairbands. Hair so we have a bit of dino dump slash uno mixed. A hybrid, yeah, would we'll you play that? So pick up, that pick up five uh, pink threes. I don't know what happened here. We also have normal cards and we have also, dancing. I don't know if everyone's seen this before, but we've, we've got, got a bit a of a Uno. we've got a rogue Uno. It's Uno flip, and it's two different it's games in one. Normal on the other side. So you can pick up a flip card, and it will flip you to this color. That's like pink, orange, green, purple, it's and then it's fun, got actually, the it? normal side as well. So you yeah. could think you'll be winning, and you flip it, and you've got not what you thought. Yeah, it really changes the game. It's mm. quite good, actually. We've also got my childhood favourite game of Yahtzee. We've ordered our dinner. I've gone for the arancini and the risotto. And Benji's gone for the bruschetta and the chicken ling linguine. Yeah. And we've also got um, Captain Morgan's. It's mango and pineapple. Spice rum. Yeah. Um, with Pepsi Max. So we've got nice, strong drinks because we don't have to drive anywhere. So... That's it literally took us, what, a minute to walk here? Yeah. Two minutes, maybe? It was great. And they let dogs in. It's, it's really nice in here. It looks fairly modern and new. I think we said when we came in, but because it was so cheap, because we got an off-peak off deal, mm -hmm. like we were expecting... We were not expecting not, to be this nice. is lovely. I bet this is rammed during the summer. Absolutely. In the school yeah. holidays. We've had a really good experience so far. Yeah. We've, we've tried a few different companies, and we've been approached by lots as well. Um, and I may do a video or like a summary or a blog post where I round up like some of the companies we used to look at. But um, yeah, I just love that they're dog friendly. So we're going to play Uno now. Uno flip. Ooh, that looks good. You might be able to smell the garlic from there. <laughs> yeah, it's so strong. Perfect. Or is it mine? No, it's yours. No, it'll be mine. And I've got little arancini balls. Let's eat. So Benji's got the uh, chicken linguine. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm excited. And I've got the risotto with the chicken breast as well. Yay! That was such a nice meal. I love that. It was really good. I'm telling you now, it is not a vibe putting on a wet swimming costume. Oh, it was cold. I'm gonna get it wet again in a minute anyway. So, where's the dog? Oh, good girl, Bonnie. A chair on top of the other chair, and then. <laughs> Hooked it over with a speaker on top. I mean, if that's not some like top quality engineering, I don't know what is. Oh, I mean, it's fantastic. That's the rest of our evening. So we're going to enjoy our shows with our ice cream and the hot tub. We'll see you in the morning. Adios. Good morning, everyone. It's another lovely sunny day. Upstairs is so uh, squeaky, creaky, creaky, squeaky, whatever. <laughs> Good morning, Bonbon. Just found you sleeping there, didn't I? In the sun. You're nice and warm. I have been sat here at my makeshift desk for the last hour just doing some work and there's like a mist, fog mist over in the distance and it's really 
sunny and lovely so should be a nice day um but we have to check out by 10 a.m and it's currently half past eight so we have an hour and a half to pack everything and get ready have a shower and we want to get in the hot tub one last time we may as well so that's what we're gonna do jump in the hot tub and um start the day in such a nice way i can't wait showered and clean and I've done my hair got my new top on and I'm ready for our final morning Cornwall before we head home so we're going to oh I want to say Port Isaacs maybe Benji has done the itinerary today I've just finished uploading a vlog so I'm gonna sort that out and pop all the bags in the car and then we can go home oh <laughs> yeah or do you want to stay here you want to stay here, don't you? I could happily stay here. Lots of sniffing. Yeah, it's been a good stay, hasn't it? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I can't, I can't believe it was what, in effect 60, 3 pound, yeah. 61 pound 50 a night. We're going to go via Port Isaac, aren't we? Port Isaac, yes. Which is where what is filmed? I don't know. Doc Martin. Oh. We're going to go there first for some breakfast, yes. And it's so lovely outside. <laughs> so that's what oh, we're we've doing, been so so lucky. So we? lucky, yeah. Look at all these daffodils. This is so pretty. It's pulled up as we were leaving. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. I think we might need a little Instagram here. Yeah, I'll just stand here, not on the actual field, it's just here. And then yeah, look. Wowie. Welcome to Port Isaac. Home of Doc Martin. <laughs> Wow, we are so lucky with this weather. Look how stunning that is. Incredible, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful. The sea, it honestly doesn't even look like we're in the UK, does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I know it's a bit quiet, but I can I totally understand why people move out here. Yeah. Like, especially when you hit a certain age and you've come to the end of your career, you've got some money in the bank, and you just want like a chilled out life. Peaceful, like, isn't it? Look at this bloke. I like, He's obviously got things to do today, but him. he's just bopping down the road. Yeah. He's got these lovely views to wake up for every morning. Probably walk his 15-year-old Jack Russell on the beach in the morning. Yeah. And then... Look at the houses here. Tick off his, like, four or five tasks for the day. And then probably a nice Cornish ale and a nice pie in the evening, I Pasty, yeah. His name's Gordon. <laughs> this is what we do, isn't it? We pick we a do. person. We, and then we write, we write, we write their story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does that, or we're just crazy, but it's a fun game. This is absolutely incredible. Look at that view. Unbelievable. The houses are so pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty this shop is. <laughs> There's so many nice things. Oh. It's lovely. I love these. I think this brand is East of India. Yeah. And this one is the Winnie the Pooh quote that says, Remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you feel, and smarter than you think. They have loads of little ones. Never regret, just learn and grow. This one says, Travel is the only thing that makes you richer. Happy ever after begins today. Oh my god, it's so cute. That shop was called the Boathouse. Very lovely. Lots of um, local art and um, designs made here in Port Isaac. And just around the corner here is like the harbour area. I'm just going to have a little look. Oh, the tide's out. Wow. That's incredible. Oh, is that Doc Martin's house there? I don't know. I've never seen it, Benji. I literally have no idea. No, neither do I, but I'm guessing. I think it is. <laughs> oh, it's it stunning. Look at this. Look how cute these little streets are we've got a pasty shop we've got a pub here oh i really love it here it's so pretty all the people are really friendly all the shops are really cute we're just struggling to find somewhere for some breakfast it's like everywhere opens at lunch isn't it yeah well that makes sense because it's so small around here i imagine it's busy in the summer absolutely beautiful 
Look at him, just living his best life. We're just walking back to the car because there wasn't anywhere that we found to eat. And we had a list of recommendations from my lovely coach, Laura. And she loves it down here and she comes down here regularly. So we've just come back to the list, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go to one of the pubs she recommended. But look at this walk. This is just so incredible. Right, so we've come about 15 minutes down to a pub that Laura recommended to me. So yeah, let's come inside. This menu is absolutely wonderful. And they're dog friendly. So Bonnie's just chilling down there, getting herself settled. Oh my gosh. So for the starter, I went for the buttermilk chicken which looks incredible and you've got a scotch egg which let me just come in close that looks so nice <laughs> right and she's got one of his favorite meals ever <laughs> a burger that looks absolutely incredible i was gonna have a fish and chips but we obviously had fish and chips yesterday, yesterday so yeah. mix it up. those chips i've got to try one of those in a minute and i've got the plowman's so a little bit of everything i love this with some nice warm sourdough Oof. oh hang on let me try it <laughs> Cheesy chips are just the one, aren't they? They are so good. He's gonna love them. Happy days. Mm. Well, that was such a great meal. A lovely, lovely meal to end off our little stay. Now on the way back to Bournemouth, three hours and 20 minutes from where we were and it's a really nice day so it's not too bad of a drive we're listening to a podcast and we're yeah, just talking about how lovely this little spontaneous trip was considering we didn't know we were coming this time last week i will leave the link to the playlist with our other staycation videos if you haven't seen some of those before there will be other travel vlogs coming your way very soon and just a big thank you make sure you click subscribe so you see more from us um but once we get home that's it gonna chill unpack everything and so I thought I'd just say goodbye now, but thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.